hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is sagar prajapati and in this video i will be talking about how to do insert into in PySpark using databricks so before going to the video i would like to tell you what i am going to do today so we have this uh, csv file i have created for this question or this tutorial here you can see we have id and name as header and then we have this data 1a 2b 3c and 4d okay so what i have done till now is that i have uploaded this file into the dbfs location and you can see we have this dbfs location file store tables and then insert underscore file dot csv and after that what i have done i have created a table also that is testing underscore insert and the schema is id integer and name is string okay uh, that's it so let me do one thing is that let me then run in front of you okay that is done now what i want to do i want to first load the data into a data frame right so what i will do i will create one data frame called df underscore source and i will write spark dot read spark dot Spark dot read dot csv and i will pass the path which i have written over here okay let me copy it and yeah let me paste it over here it is done so here what i will do i will write here option also to include my headers so header comma two and here what i will do i will write df underscore source dot show now if you can see now if you can see we have this id name and we have the respected data now i want to insert this data id name this data into this uh, table using pyspark code so what i will do I will simply write df underscore source dot write okay and then uh, what I will do I will write insert into and here I have to pass the table name that is testing underscore insert okay and with it we have a option overwrite that is either i want to override the data or append the data so if i override the data that is it will override only so let me run it and let me show you so if i do a select star select star from this table testing underscore insert and let me use sql here and if i run it then you will see we will have only four columns i mean four rows okay let me do it again and let me run this sql command again so you will see again we will have only four data why so because i am using override too so it is getting overwritten every time what if if i make this false so if i make this false then this will act as a append insert into statement okay it will append the data every time so now we will have now we will have eight rows okay if i run it again then we will have 12 rows okay you can see 12 rows and yeah and move over to this i have used you know a format format function also here to change the format suppose i want to change the format into into uh, let's say park it for now okay and if i run it then it will run so this is first thing in about the insert into so let me tell you what is happening in insert okay what i will do suppose if i change the table this name okay suppose i have given here suppose i have given here name string okay and let me run it and then i will show you what will happen this code 
our insert into code will fail because the reason is I am giving here name string I mean I am giving the schema name then ID but here I am giving here I am giving ID and name okay in the source I am giving ID and name but the schema of the table is name and string so what if if I put this as a string it will it will insert the data but our our data let me make it let me make it true only now if you can see it got inserted but if I do select star from testing then you can see we have name one two three ID a b c d that is uh, that is false that is wrong okay so what is happening I mean what what happens in insert into is that insert in, in into is that suppose suppose we have one table okay A table and here we have ID column and name column and when we are using insert into so and suppose I have written here one data frame all right okay let me remove this so suppose I have written here df dot right dot insert into and then I am passing here a table right I am passing here a table so what is happening this data frame whatever the schema is present in data frame it will map it will map with the table name okay and it will not it doesn't go and check it doesn't go and check what come first okay suppose in this data frame if id is present so it will take id and insert the data first in first position then if it is name then it will go it will go and insert name thing okay name data not the column name data into the table at second position so that's why if you are using insert in into so it's better to use it's better to use column name instead of all the columns right maybe that 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 could be the case in the df you have written i mean you know you are importing data with name and id and so on so that is one uh, one use case or that is very important point of uh, insert into whenever you are using you make sure that the columns you know the column mapping are same between the source and the sync part so I hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited thank you